Well hello everybody, welcome to Chef's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to be making some financiers. Um, these are a basic financier but with uh, an almond popped into them as well just for extra flavour. Now usually when I do financiers I use these little financier moulds but today I'm going to try them in these little pans. They're quite shallow, they hold the same volume as uh, one of the financier moulds so that should be okay. Now what I have in this bowl is 270 grams of ground almonds, 250 grams of icing sugar and 120 grams of plain flour which I've um, sifted and then mixed together to combine. Now into that what we need to do is place 350 millilitres of egg whites and 100 grams of golden syrup. You can use invert sugar or you could actually increase the amount of caster sugar you put in. So I'll make a little bit of a well in the middle and pour the egg whites in and then before I mix it I'm going to drip in 100 grams of golden syrup. exactly 100 grams. That's the beauty of these squeezy bottles. And then we're going to mix that together. Until we get a nice batter. Now usually with when I make um, financiers, what I do is chill the batter overnight once I've got the butter combined into it and then it's ready for piping but I've seen several recipes where they don't do that so today I'm going to try it without chilling overnight just to see what the effect is. So having got our batter mixed the next thing we have to do is to melt 340 grams of unsalted butter and to let it brown into a nice burn noisette. So I've got the butter in the pan. And then I'm just going to let that melt. I can see it's beginning to change colour. Okay, so I can just see the little, few little black specks appearing, which means that it's cooked to a nice nutty flavour. I'm going to take that off the heat 
and I'm going to pour it straight into our batter. I'm going to put the little brown specks in. That's going to give it extra flavour. And gently mix that in until it's all combined. Takes a while to mix in, but it will all mix in nicely, I can assure you. So that's nicely mixed in now. So the next thing to do is to put that into our trays. I'm using a fairly small ice cream scoop. And I'm just going to fill the trays slightly below the the level so I've put the batter into the tins I can actually just see that one of them is slightly light on batter so I'm going to drip a little bit more in there That's fine. I have enough batter for another 12 at least. So now what I'm going to do is take some raspberries and I'm going to put the raspberry and I'm actually going to poke it in nose down. Now these financiers should rise a little bit Hopefully not over the side, over the edges. And the reason I'm poking them face down, nose down, is that I want to try to drip a little bit of seedless raspberry jam, or you could use raspberry coulis, into the little hole in the middle. So, I've got the raspberries in and I've got a little bit of jam in the middle of each one. Oops. There's, a little, there's one there with no jam in it at all. What a catastrophe. Come on, off you come. Disaster averted. Right, so now I'm going to put these in the oven um, until they go a nice golden brown. Should be about 10 minutes. Then I'll take them out, I'll do the next batch and then I'll come back and show you the results. So now I've taken our financiers out of the oven. I actually got 34, so that was two trays of 12 and then 10 in a third tray. And as you can see, they seem quite crispy on the outside, and they are at the moment, but once they've been put into a um, Tupperware container or a, you know, a, an airproof uh, tin and left, the edges will go nice and soft and sticky, and they're, so they're gonna be moist inside, 
and they develop a, a nice sort of uh, tacky feel to them. That's the um, golden syrup coming through. So I'll just have a taste of one. Mm. Really very moist. And that lovely raspberry flavour. So that's it for today. These are very easy to make and the results are well worthwhile. So, if you've liked this video, please click on the thumbs up below the video to say that you like it and click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel so you can see the future videos as well. And I'll be back with you in a few days with something else to savour. So until then, happy baking.